Dear colleagues, in this video, I want to show the carousel technique of soft nucleus management in phacal surgery. This is a posterior subcapsular cataract with very soft nucleus. This is the main incision. It's a 2.8 millimeter incision. Now, viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. Now, one side port. Yes, only one side port is being made in this case on the left side of the main incision about three clock hours away. Now, the anterior capsule is incised with this needle bent 26 gauge needle. Now I hold this capsular tag with this uterata forceps, go anticlockwise and remain at a certain distance all around from the margin of the pupil and thus I am doing this continuous curvilinear capsular axis. It has been a large rexis and in soft cataract it is management becomes very easy if the rexis is large. Soft cataract and hard cataract. If the rexis is large, nucleus management becomes very easy. In grade 3 nucleus sclerosis, grade 3 plus nucleus sclerosis, we can make rexis of smaller size. Now by this time hydrodissection and hydrodelineation has been done and now see how the carousel or cartwheel technique is being performed. The tip of the phaco handpiece is introduced, the bevel faces the nuclear mass and the bevel is at the junction of the nucleus and epinucleus and see how beautifully the whole nucleus rotates and it comes, it gets emulsified and it is removed in no time. Now viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and now see how easily you can remove the cortex with this very simple instrument and you need only one side port for this. That's it. Now go through this side port which is about 1.5 millimeter in size and now in this case a foldable intraocular lens is being implanted under irrigating fluid. Here it is. This is a hydrophobic single piece intraocular lens. The leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is also placed in the capsular bag. Now the irrigating probe is used to dial the lens and whatever viscoelastic substance was there in the lumen of the cartridge is irrigated out. You can see that the rexis is large and the optic of the intraocular lens is not covered by the anterior capsular rim. However, within few months, this capsular rexis will contract and it is likely that it will cover the anterior, the peripheral portion of the optic of this intraocular lens. The chance of capsular phimosis is also reduced to great extent if we do a large rexis. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Please be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with great skills.